It's something we've experimented <laughs> with. <laughs> what? Okay, just just go. Hi, I'm Grunk. Hey, I'm Exidor. And uh, let's look at some questions. 4K menu support and fixes, when? Regarding 4K menu support, on an earlier video, we actually touched down on some of the work we're doing on our UI and some of the investigations. Just yesterday, we actually uh, managed to get a very recent implementation of Coherent UI in there, and it's currently in the testing phase. Since we haven't really committed to it yet, um, can't quite say if we're gonna have full 4K support or not. When will you fix the pumpkin trinket? The Halloween trinket will be screaming again as of the next update. Cheesy. <laughs> in the future, will we have a map in the heights, like Vertigo from Counter-Strike 1.6? It's something we've experimented with, but uh, it doesn't really work very well, because really, a lot of the game is configured to not having big height variances, especially when it comes to abilities. Imagine targeting lasers, um, Kira lasers, all that stuff. So uh, it's a bit difficult, and we've not given up on it, but really, it's not an easy thing to do, and frankly, it's not particularly reflective of London because there's not a massive amount of height variation in London as a city. It's not like, say, New York with a lot of massive skyscrapers. What are the next planned maps after the terminal rework? In the near future, we're bringing updates to Underground, including some extensive bug fixes. Yeah, and it also includes things like making it friendlier for airstrikes and uh, artillery abilities. Uh, then after that, we've got a couple of maps in various phases of blockout. Uh, we actually have one that's a bit into our production, so that's a locked blockout, and another that is a bit further behind, but the, it's nearly a final blockout. Uh, we'll be letting you know more about those maps as they you know, develop. When can we play casual matchmaking in Asian servers? That's actually a good question. Uh, we have been for quite some time now investigating rolling CMM in the Asia region. We've always intended to bring CMM to all regions worldwide, uh, as it is a very population-based system and uh, also heavily relies on local infrastructure. There are some regions we simply don't have the necessary bare metal servers. Uh, China, for instance, being one of them. With our server provider that we currently use, they don't have any data centers there, so we've been working with them trying to find an amicable solution. Um, needless to say, it unfortunately takes a little bit of time to get everything in place, and we'll continue to investigate. But uh, as soon as we have more news on that front, we'll definitely let you guys know. Will there be weather effects like snow, rain, etc. in future maps? As part of our current roadmap, we do not intend to bring in any weather effects to our maps. Uh, in part, it has to do with the overall performance of the maps and also potential gameplay uh, uh, impact. Yeah, we'd have to give people the ability to turn it off really to make sure that they have responsive frame rate. And at that point, so many people would be turning it off that it's probably not worth the investment to make it. What happened to the tutorial update? We've actually had uh, several small updates and patches uh, to our tutorial. They may not have been uh, very, you know, player facing, but they happened nonetheless. And uh, we actually have some uh, more interesting changes happening on the tutorial, don't we? Yeah, we have a bit of a rework happening to it. Uh, the idea is to make it actually shorter, uh, get people into their first match more quickly. And then what we're going to do is rather than pack the tutorial with a lot of learnings, we're going to have a supplementary videos that players can watch that have some of the more advanced mechanics in DB. So uh, expect some discussion about that. We're likely to ask you what you think would be included. So stay tuned. Could you reduce the experience necessary to level up? Leveling up faster? Hold on. Weren't you guys working on that? Yes. Uh, that's been something that's been on our radar for quite a long time. Um, there's a couple of issues, really, obviously, it's how long it takes to level up. Uh, the other problem that we've wanted to tackle is that XP varies widely between players. You can have some that score 20, 30k in a match, while others are scoring hardly anything, because you know, our server browser, very experienced players versus uh, new players. So what we want to do is actually have that be a score and instead have a more stable rate for XP. So more players we can know, you know, within a few sessions or a session, a long session, they'll be able to level up so rewards will be more constant. What's the next subscriber milestone? Our previous subscriber milestone trinket was the taco trinket and we did that for 30,000 YouTube subscribers. Um, I don't know, what do you think, should we do another one? I don't know if we can be as tasty, but I don't know. Maybe you can always try. 50k? 50, 60? 50 is a nice number. All right, so you heard the man, 50,000 YouTube subscribers. 
Be sure to subscribe down below and it will be trinkets for everyone. In the meantime, please leave your comments and questions down below and thank you very much for watching and playing. Thanks for watching. Take care. Final answer.